Thanks for coming out, everybody. 2020, huh? What a year. This is worse than the, the Great Depression. You ever see the pictures from the Great Depression? They're, they're mask free. They're all hanging out, waiting for soup. I'd kill for that. That didn't go over, huh? Not buying it? Like telling jokes in an empty room, laughs have been hard to come by these days. But local comedy is alive and well. Though the venue has changed, many of the messengers are the same. And tonight we find out where they are, when they're coming back, and how they're keeping laughter alive. This is Chronicle on WCBB Channel 5. Blue Ocean Music Hall in Salisbury, Mass, boasts breathtaking beach views and an intimate venue for patrons to dance and laugh the night away. It's also where we find New Hampshire-based comic Justin McKinney taking advantage of this empty stage to work on his it's, timing. It's just, you know, this is it. It's just I pace, I look. After following his comic dreams across the country and landing a feature on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Justin returned to New England to start a family. I married a woman from Massachusetts, and that was a mistake. I should have married a woman from Maine and New Hampshire because Maine and New Hampshire women shovel. Shoveling aside, family life provided some great comic material. I've been doing a joke in my act where I say how some people homeschool. I would be the worst homeschool teacher in America. First week of school in September out of two teacher workshops and three snow days. <laughs> the irony is I end up having to do it. All my live shows were canceled. So I'm like, how can I make the best of this while at the same time working with my kids? So that's what led me to the homeschool videos that I've been doing you know, during quarantine. Here is the problem. So for McKinney, when a school door closed, his makeshift homeschool opened as he found the funny in everything from math and music. It breaks my heart, but not like Billy Ray Cyrus. This COVID-19 is one nasty virus. <laughs> to the physics of shoveling the front steps. It's all about learning, everybody. After 13 episodes, McKinney found his humor wearing on his family. Most of my jokes make fun of my wife, and they go over my fourth grade and my sixth grade's head, so uh, <laughs> I just got the dog. So when he leaves, I'm done. Hey, everyone. Luckily, he's got a new web series, and with drive-ins now hosting comics and venues like Blue Ocean returning with limited capacity, McKinney looks to fill this empty floor soon. You know, I joke that my wife and I are getting closer uh, to killing each other, you know, uh, but uh, in reality, we're out there every two days making some s'mores. So those kind of things I think my kids will always remember. <laughs> Does anyone ever win these? In 2013, comedians Nick Stevens and George Kippenhan gave us all something to remember with their viral hit video about the things Pats fans say. It's Tebow time. Seven years later, fresh off their latest installment, they still have a lot to say as I caught up with them for a bring your own chair, socially distanced chat in Stevens' backyard. I do love what you've done with your studio here. It's spectacular. Green chairs matching the grass, nicely done. I definitely didn't find these on the side of the road. <laughs> no, of course not. Totally. With a big free <laughs> sign on them. Laughs flow easily between these two with a rhythm perfected over 30 years of friendship. We're both from Braintree, but we really became best buddies for life when we started working together at the old entertainment cinemas in Quincy. You find like-minded individuals when you work at a movie theater. I mean, how many times did we see Batman Returns? A lot. <laughs> it's a classic coming of age story. It's like the notebook for dudes. You were early on the whole viral video thing. I remember Nick uh, came, was living in New York, came home for Christmas. He goes, hey, look at this funny thing I did on this YouTube thing. And we had no idea what YouTube was. Folks, how are you? That first video introduced Nick's Fitzy character, a trash-talking Boston townie who reviewed movies. I wanted it to be like a satire of and love letter to all the guys I grew up with and all my dad's gambling buddies. Love Fitzy. Oh. Fitzy the critic was good, but the character became great in 2007 when he decided to talk sports. Views went from 200 to 25,000, and then we just knew this is the way we got to go. Every coin flip for the rest of our lives, heads. Kippenhan joined the act in 2013. Nick initially used to write the whole script, and I did improv a few lines, and he'd say, don't do that. George sits on his golden throne of terrible ideas in every brainstorm, and that's what I love. And this 
madness and sadness that we're living in right now, has that affected your ability to do what you're doing? It's not that we're not taking this seriously, it's just that we want to try to provide some relief and levity along the way. They certainly provided some levity for me, but before I could go, I had to ask the guy who made a career living and dying with the Patriots how he feels about losing his Hall of Fame quarterback. I'm going to always love Tom Brady a little too much for my wife's and his comfort and everyone's comfort, but I'm a Pats fan and I can't wait for the whatever that next game is. Bring it on. Game on, dude.